this mass is offered for the soul of Lucy Pereira, month's mind mass, for the soul of Peter Pereira, month's mind mass, for the soul of Abraham Menezes, month's mind mass, for the golden jubilee of Wilfred Paris and Roma Paris, and for all the box intention masses. Nineteen Sunday in Ordinary Time and Vianney Sunday. When faced with storms that threaten our very life, we are called to put our trust in the Lord and to listen to His voice. Like the disciples, may we realize that once Jesus is aboard our boat of life, the winds die down and calm is restored. Today in our Archdiocese, we celebrate Vianney Sunday. On this feast of St. John Marie Vianney, the patron of priests, we pray that our Lord Jesus may bless his priests who minister to his people, that they may experience him more deeply in the breaking of the Eucharistic bread. Let us rise and welcome the celebrant by singing the hymn, hymn number 29, All the Ends of the Earth. All the ends of the earth, all you creatures of the sea, lift up your eyes to the wonders of the Lord, for the Lord of the earth the master of the sea has come with justice for the world. Break into song at the deeds of the Lord, the wonders he has done in every age. All the ends of the earth, all you creatures of the sea, Lift up your eyes to the wonders of the Lord, for the Lord of the earth, the master of the sea, has come with justice for the world. Let us all sign ourselves. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. In one voice, let us together glorify the Lord singing the Gloria. Glory, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, 
you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us you take away the sins of the world receive our prayer you are seated at the right hand of the father have mercy on us for you alone are the holy one you alone are the lord you alone are the most high jesus christ with the holy spirit in the glory of god the father amen 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 let us all pray in silence Almighty ever living God whom taught by the holy spirit we dare to call our father bring we pray to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen a reading from the first book of the kings when elijah reached horeb the mountain of god he went into the cave and spent the night in it then he was told go out and stand on the mountain before the lord then the lord himself went by there came a mighty wind so strong it tore the mountains and shattered the rocks before the lord but the lord was not in the wind after the wind came an earthquake but the lord was not in the earthquake after the earthquake came a fire but the lord was not in the fire and after the fire they, there came the sound of a gentle breeze and when elijah heard this he covered his face with his cloak and went out and stood at the entrance of the cave the word of the lord thanks be to god our response to the psalm will be let us see o lord your mercy and give us your saving help kindly listen to the tune let us see o lord your mercy and give us your saving help together Let us see O Lord your mercy and give us your saving help I will hear what the Lord God has to say a voice that speaks of peace his help is near for those who fear him and his glory will dwell in our land our response Let us see O Lord your mercy and give us your saving help Mercy and faithfulness have met justice and peace have embraced faithfulness shall spring from the earth and justice look down from heaven Our response Let us see O Lord your mercy and give us your saving help A reading from the letter of Saint Paul to the Romans What I want to say is no pretense I say it in union with Christ it is the truth 
my conscience in union with the holy spirit assures me of it too what i want to say is this my sorrow is so great my mental anguish so endless i would willingly be condemned and be cut off from christ if it could be helped my brothers of israel my own flesh and blood they 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 were adopted as sons they were given the glory and the covenants the law and the ritual were drawn up from them and the most promises were made to them they are descended from the patriarchs and from their flesh and blood came christ who is above all god forever blessed amen the word of the lord thanks be to god kindly rise for the gospel alleluia 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 my soul is waiting for the lord i count on his word Alleluia 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 The Lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to Matthew glory to you o lord Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead to the other side while he would send the crowds away After sending the crowds away he went up into the hills by himself to pray When evening came he was there alone while the boat by now far out on the lake was battling with a heavy sea for there was a head wind In the fourth watch of the night he went towards them walking on the lake and when the disciples saw him walking on the lake they were terrified it is a ghost they said and cried out in fear but at once jesus called out to them saying courage it is i do not be afraid it was peter who answered lord he said If it is you tell me to come to you across the water Come said Jesus Then Peter got out of the boat and started walking towards Jesus across the water But as soon as he felt the force of the wind he took fright and began to sink Lord Save me he cried Jesus put out his hand at once and held him Man of little faith he said Why did you doubt And as they got into the boat the wind dropped The men in the boat bowed down before him and said Truly you are the son of God the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear brothers and sisters 
The Archdiocese of Bombay today celebrates the feast of St. John Marie Vianney. The feast of all the diocesan priests. Today, we can do or begin to do a lot of things in view of the feast of St. John Marie Vianney. In view of the feast of all the diocesan priests. The first thing we can do today is start encouraging vocations. A lot of time people think it is the job of the church, of the priests and the religious. My dear brothers and sisters, it is our Christian duty and our Christian responsibility to encourage vocations. Not only priests and religious, but every parent, every parishioner. As a priest, I am supposed to encourage vocations not only through words, but the kind of life I live. As parents, you are called to encourage vocations at home, to sow the seed of vocation in your homes. Talk about it to your children. Pray about it every day. And as parishioners, if you see that spark of vocation or priesthood in a young boy or a youth, it is your duty to approach that person, talk about it, encourage that person and pray for that person. But while we encourage vocation, we also have to keep one thing in mind, not to pressurize or push somebody into believing or becoming a priest. Our job is to pray, is to encourage and allow the Spirit of God to work in that person. Pope Francis once said, vocation promotion is the responsibility of every Catholic. So my dear brothers and sisters, it is our Christian duty and a Christian responsibility to encourage vocations to priesthood. The second thing we, are, we can do or we can begin to do is pray. Certainly pray for vocations today. But today is the day also to pray for those priests who have gone astray from their vocation. Today we are reminded to pray for those priests who have hurt us or caused some harm to the church. Today we should pray for all those priests who are sick, bedridden and lonely. We can also pray for those priests who have left their priesthood or even left the Catholic Church. And today is also the day to pray for all those people who have left their faith or the Catholic Church because at one point in their life they were ill-treated by a priest or a religious so my dear brothers and sisters, today we can pray or we can begin to pray from now on for all the priests. There is a beautiful quote which says, Behind each priest there is a demon fighting for his fawn. I repeat. Behind each priest, there is a demon fighting for his fall. 
if we have the language to criticize them, we must have twice as much to pray for them. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, today is the day and from now on, we should not only pray, but intensify our prayer for priests and the institution of priesthood. The third thing we can do today is reconcile. If I as a priest have hurt somebody or somebody has hurt me, today is the day to reconcile with that person. Likewise, if you have hurt a particular priest or a particular priest has hurt you, today is the day at least to begin with the process of reconciliation. And the best step or a process to begin, to begin the process of reconciliation is prayer. So my dear brothers and sisters, let this day be a day of reconciliation. And let us do it right now. Let us close our eyes and make a small prayer that will bring about a reconciliation between a priest and a lay person. Dear God, if I have hurt a priest, give me the strength to apologize. And if a priest has hurt me, give me the strength to forgive. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, let this be a day of a day of reconciliation or at least today let us begin the process of reconciliation through a prayer fourth today is the day that a day that reminds us to stand for priest and priesthood to show our support for this institution of priesthood to show our support for priest and how we can do this. First, by not encouraging gossip. It is not only the lay ordinary people involved in gossip, but sadly, we as fellow priests also get involved in gossips and mar each other's reputation. We can show our support to a priest and to the institution of priesthood by not encouraging any form of gossip. The next way of supporting a priest is by confronting a priest when a priest does something wrong, but with the intention to help and with love and respect. So when we see something wrong and we confront the priest with love, with respect and with the intention to help, it shows our support to the priest and the institution of priesthood. The third way of supporting is not generalizing. How often we see a particular priest bad and we generalize that all priests or the priesthood is bad. So let us not generalize. My dear brothers and sisters, the worst thing that can happen to a priest, a curse that can break a priest is when the community deserts a priest and doesn't stand by him. Today is the day to stand for priest to stand for priesthood, to show our support. Saint Jose Maria Escriva once said, a priest, whoever he may be, is always another Christ. 
Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, if we stand for God, if we stand for Christ, we also have to stand for priesthood and its priests. So today is the day to encourage vocation, to pray, to reconcile and to stand for priest and priesthood. For me personally, it is a day to relive my call, relive the day of my ordination and relive the day when I first celebrated my mass. For priests in general, it's a day to remember that if we have gone astray, to mend our ways. If we are going through suffering, humiliation, rejection, or if we are misunderstood, the words of Jesus in the gospel today should give us the strength. Jesus says, take courage, do not be afraid. If we do not meet up to the expectations of people, we should remember the words of Mother Teresa who said, we are not called to be successful, but we are called to be faithful. So let us continue as priests to be faithful. If we feel lonely, today's day remind us to build our relationship with God. Because if we have God, we need nobody, we need nothing. And today is the day to be humble, just as St. John Marie Vianney lived a humble life. Mother Teresa said, if we live in humility, neither appreciation nor rejection can touch us. I repeat, if we live in humility, neither appreciation nor rejection can touch us. So my dear brothers and sisters, as a priest, whatever situation I may be in, as a lay person, you may be hurt, you may be left humiliated, you may have issues with the church, the priest and the priesthood. Through the gospel, Jesus tells you and me today to take courage, to not be afraid, to have faith. He tells you and me that he is there, he is in control of the situation. Quite often, my dear brothers and sisters, the storm around us may overwhelm us. And because of overwhelmed emotions, we may think we are alone and helpless. But that's not the truth. That's not the reality. The storm may be around us. We may be overwhelmed. But our God never leaves us. Every time, like Peter, we cry out, save us, O Lord. He is waiting with his hands extended. My dear brothers and sisters, let us encourage vocations. Let us pray for priests. Let us reconcile with those priests who have hurt you. And let us always stand for priests and the priesthood. Let's close our eyes and continue to pray and reflect in silence. Let us all stand and profess our faith in one God. Together we say, I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Prayers of the faithful. For every prayer that we make, our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Please repeat. Lord, 
hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, bishops and priests, that through the example and intercession of St. John Marie Vianney, they may be inspired to continue to work in the vineyard of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the leaders of the world and those in authority, that in these times of the pandemic, the Holy Spirit may guide them to work for the betterment of their people, especially the poor and the marginalized. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all members of the church, that when faced with the storms of life, we may keep our eyes on Jesus and draw our strength from Him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who are sick, fearful, anxious, depressed and grieving, that they may hear the voice of Jesus saying to them, Take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our personal needs and those of the community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We make these prayers through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. For our offertory, we shall take hymn number 368. Take and receive. Take and receive, O Lord, my liberty. Take all my will, my mind, my memory. Do thou direct and govern all and sway. Do what thou wilt, command and I obey. Only thy grace and love on me bestow. Possessing these, all riches I forgo. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere. To give of thanks to Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state. And by his suffering cancelled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we give the hymn, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Oswald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Let us continue to pray in silence for our personal needs and the needs of our family members. Let us pray for all the priests, especially those who have gone before us, that their souls may rest in peace. We also pray for those who are celebrating their birthdays today, their anniversaries, wedding anniversaries. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. John Marie Vianney, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As one big family let us together say the prayer that jesus himself thought together we say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ to set to apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world grant us peace this is jesus and he says take courage it is i do not be afraid Happy are all the fast who are called to the banquet of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. as we invite the lord in our hearts let us make this act of spiritual communion our very own my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i desire to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen kindly join in the communion hymn hymn number 295 o let the son of god enfold you O oh, let the Son of God enfold you with His Spirit and His love. Let Him fill your heart and satisfy your soul. O oh, let Him have the things that hold you and His Spirit like a dove. will descend upon your life and make you whole jesus we thank you for your word of truth jesus we thank you for the bread of life o oh, come and sing a song with gladness as your hearts 
are filled with joy. Lift your hands in brave surrender to His name. Oh, give Him all your tears and sadness. Give Him all your years of pain. And you'll enter into life in Jesus' name. Jesus, we thank you for your word of truth. Jesus, we thank you for the bread of life. The bread that I will give, says the Lord, is my flesh for the life of the world. Let us all stand and continue to pray in silence. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray for coronavirus protection. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere. Hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We pray for the doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. Kindly be seated for the notices of the week. All parish fathers will concelebrate a Vianney feast mass streamed at 5.30 p.m. tomorrow, 9th August, via the church YouTube channel. All are urged to participate and pray for priests and vocations and to watch the PPC virtual program at 11 a.m. and the PYC short videos as per time slots details sent out. Please note also the entertainment organized by the Catholic Gymkhana. At 7.30 a.m. on 15th August, our country's 73rd Independence Day, there will be a live flag hoisting ceremony in the quadrangle with restricted numbers present. Parishioners are urged to participate in its streamed version at 9 a.m. via the church YouTube channel and pray for national harmony, integrity and progress with God's blessings. August 15th also being the Feast of the Assumption, Our Lady's statue will be held aloft in a vehicle pilgrimage around our parish between 12 noon and 1 p.m. Route and time details will be sent in due course via social media. Parishioners are not to gather in clusters on roads or in house colonies. Instead, please participate actively by praying in homes and balconies for God's divine blessings and protection through the intercession of our Blessed Virgin Mary. Signed, Parish Peace, Father Harold Vaz. My dear brothers and sisters, uh, just once again, we congratulate Mr. Wilfred Paris and Roma Paris. They celebrate their golden wedding anniversary. Mr. Wilfred and Mrs. Roma, your life witnesses Christ, Christ's teaching about what marriage is, the teachings of the church, 
and most importantly today when you celebrate 50 years of your married life you prove to the world your belief in the institution of marriage we pray for your good health that God may continue to bless you both with peace, joy and happiness. Once again, congratulations to you for completing 50 long years of your married life. Congratulations also to your children and your relatives. God bless you both. Let us prepare ourselves for the final blessing. The Lord be with you and with your spirit and may Almighty God bless you the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Take courage. Do not be afraid. Thanks be to God. For our recessional we shall take hymn number 472. You are a chosen generation. You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a dedicated people that should show for the praises of Him who has called you out of darkness, out of darkness, out of darkness, into his marvelous light, into his marvelous light. So come and sing, Alleluia. Praise to the Lord. Come on and sing, Alleluia. And show forth the praises of him. For he has called you out of darkness. Out of darkness, out of darkness, into his marvelous light, into his marvelous light. Have a pleasant weekend and good evening, dear parishioners.